Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, for weeks now, I've been saying keep your eyes on Israel, especially during the holy month of Ramadan this year, 2023. Ramadan started uh, March 22nd. It's going to run through uh, April 20th. But look at what's happening right now, folks, with Israel. It's been now, I believe, this is the 12th week of protests and riots in Israel. It is out of control. There is a, there's chaos right now in Israel. It's been crazy over there. Like I said, this is going on the 12th week now of these protests and riots all over the country. I mean, some of the footage and videos and pictures come out. It's insane. Just like you see on the screen here, this is a recent article just in from the Times of Israel. Things fall apart. If you look at what's happening, especially if you're one of the surrounding enemies of Israel and you're looking at what's happening right now, it's falling apart. And what sparked even more craziness is the recent firing of Defense Minister Gallant. Um, this just sparked a whole new level of the protesting, rioting, and unrest that's currently going on in Israel. Many are even coming out and saying that Israel is in greater danger than any time since the Yom Kippur War in 1973. Like you see, this is just in from Yenei Safak. Naftali Bennett calls for dialogue, avoiding violence amid rift over government's judicial change plan. Folks, there is no way that it is a coincidence that as we went into Ramadan, which again is the Muslim holy month, where we usually see a massive increase in violence and attacks against the nation of Israel. So just as we enter into Ramadan, and Israel is already on high alert for terrorist attacks and uh, adjoining together a confederacy of Hezbollah, Islamic Jihad, Fatah, Hamas, the other uh, you know, uh, Iranian proxies to join together to strike Israel. Israel's already on a high guard to expect something from the surrounding enemies of Israel during this Muslim holy month of Ramadan, which we're in right now. I think it will run through Passover and go to April 20th. It's not a coincidence that at the same time as we go into Ramadan, that now we're seeing this major crisis occurring within Israel. And make no mistake about it, the surrounding enemies of Israel, especially Hezbollah, Fatah, Islamic Jihad, Hamas, and many others are looking at this. They're looking at this and they're saying, wow, they, they're, they're battling from within. Do we watch them destroy themselves? Or is this the perfect time for us all to join together to strike while they are in a, as they say, like you see on the article here recently and from the Times of Israel, senior defense official, Israel's enemies see country as weak given the overhaul risks. I'll tell you what I see right now, folks, and it might not go down this way, but when you connect all the dots, we've been saying for weeks, watch out, keep your eyes on Israel during this year's Ramadan, which started March 22nd, uh, runs through April 20th of 2023, as Israel is already on a heightened alert of threats of attacks from its surrounding enemies. But as we go into Ramadan, now Israel is, and even Netanyahu said recently in his speech, I want to avoid a civil war because that's where it's headed within Israel. So Israel, it's just, it's in chaos right now. The protests, the riots. I mean, there's a battle from within, inside of Israel. What it looks like we could be witnessing right now, folks, this is a perfect setup for a coming war to occur against the nation of Israel while its surrounding enemies see this is a perfect time to possibly strike. I say possibly because maybe this isn't the time, but when you look at the dots, it's a perfect storm for a possible, uh, you could start seeing attacks coming from Hamas, Hezbollah, Islamic Jihad, Fatah, and others to possibly join the fight for a major offensive, a confederacy to attack Israel while it's dealing with its own internal problems and they're viewing them as weak right now. This is the perfect time for them to strike. So number one, we could possibly see a coming war uh, from this against the nation of Israel. And from that war, we are also seeing the stage getting set up for the rise and acceptance of the coming future Antichrist, who will make order out of chaos, confirm the covenant with many, Daniel chapter 9, verse 27, to start the seven-year tribulation period. 
It's very sad to see what's happening right now with the nation of Israel, but we know what must occur according to the Holy Bible. And we know the purpose of the tribulation period or the time of Jacob's trouble, Daniel's 70th week. The purpose of the tribulation period is for the salvation of the Jewish nation. God is in full control, folks, and he is going to bring one-third of the remnant of the Jews back to himself in the end. But we know according to scripture that the Jews will accept the false Messiah first. They're going to accept this coming Antichrist first. And when you look at what's happening right now, this is a, this is a perfect, ingre perfect ingredients are forming. And I believe Israel's already prepared for when the time does come, they will accept this false Messiah because it's total chaos in Israel right now. This is a perfect time after a war comes against Israel for a man to come forth to make order out of the chaos they're going to look to him and say, man, this guy, is he's got all the answers. This is the Messiah we've been looking for to solve all the problems. I mean, in John chapter 5, verse 43, the Lord Jesus Christ says the following. I am come in my Father's name. He's speaking to a Jewish audience here. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. Referring to the coming Antichrist, who they will willingly accept. In John chapter 1, verse 10 to 12, we read, he was in the world, referring to Jesus Christ, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. So he came unto his own, referring, he came unto the Jews, and his own received him not. Again, God's working all this out. He is. But very clearly, Scripture teaches that the Jewish people will accept the false Messiah, the Antichrist, first. In Romans chapter 11, verse 25 to 26, the Apostle Paul records, For I would not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery, lest ye should be wise in your own conceits, that blindness in part is happened to Israel, until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in, and so all Israel shall be saved. As it is written, There shall come out of Zion the Deliverer, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. But make no mistake about it, the perfect ingredients have formed for a perfect storm. Israel's at war with itself. The protests, the riots going on its 12th week now. There's chaos in Israel. The surrounding enemies of Israel are looking at this. And they're saying, man, do we let them just destroy themselves? Or is this the perfect time for us to strike? And when that occurs, Israel's already got battling with itself. What a perfect time for the Antichrist to come to come forth, to make order out of the chaos. The Jews, the nation of Israel, are going to look at this man. The whole world's going to look at this man and say, wow, he's got all the answers. That's the one to follow. He's going to make order out of chaos. He's going to confirm the covenant with many, Israel and its surrounding enemies for a seven-year period, including, I believe, the rebuilding of the coming third temple. And that's going to start the seven-year tribulation period. Folks, we are seeing the stage getting perfectly set up right now for the arrival of the future Antichrist. And all I can tell you is if you're watching this video right now, you need to get saved. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven, and he's the only name that can save you. It's time for you to put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus Christ right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day, as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now, because tomorrow is not promised. Just look around you, and look at what your Bible says, and you will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back, and he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. Keep your eyes on Israel in the coming days and weeks, folks, because we are seeing a perfect storm forming for a coming war against the nation of Israel and for Israel to eventually accept this coming false Messiah, this coming Antichrist, when the time does come. Keep watching with me. Jesus is coming soon, and God bless you all.